Okay, so this one's just for fun before I take out this bloody suit. Because it's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. That's right. It's getting really, really hot in here. I'm not kidding. It really is getting hot in this suit. So, let's do a couple of more improvisational lines. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to do some lines from some films now as I come out of this suit. Because I'm the dude playing the dude disguised as another dude. You guys remember Chopper Thunder, right? Of course you do. Because that's where I got that. Oh, yeah. And if you just wear red, it keeps the bad guys from seeing you bleed. Did? Ah. I got one for you. You probably don't remember this one. But it's from Thomas Jane's Punisher. You killed my son. Both of them. That's right. He blew that guy's sons. And that guy was John Travolta. The comeback kid from hell. Let's see if we can do one more. Mark, meet, bottom. Oh, fuck, Knuckles. Yeah, Deadpool 1 and 2. Fire face. Yeah, taser face. Sounds so much funner when the actual actor says it, right? Of course it does. Because I'm an actor, playing an actor, this guy is another actor. Getting you totally confused? Of course I am. Am I breaking the fourth wall? Already done it, like, 16 times. Yeah. I'm just a little bit more sarcastic at it. I mean, my suit's awesome. My spider looks like a skull. If you look real carefully, there's a skull right here. And my headgear? My headgear is awesome. Even without my AI, I am the shit. Alright? And every now and again, I kick Pikachu in the ass to get a charge from my AI. Shh. Don't tell her that. She likes Pikachu. I personally only like him because he's yellow. And yellow is my favorite color. Now, as I close out this video, I just want you guys to know, all of this was in fun. Oh, you wanted to do some Optimus Prime and Megatron? We're going to do that from the original Transformers the movie, the cartoon one that none of you are old enough to see. Laura, have seen. Maybe you have by now, but you know, it could be on Netflix. You don't know. Okay, let's do this. Megatron must be stopped. No matter the cost. Stan Bush song plays. Atomus transforms. Starts killing everybody. Then he lands. And he goes. One shall stun. One shall fall. And Megatron goes. Why throw away your life so recklessly? And Prime goes. That's a question you should ask yourself, Megatron. And Hot Rod screws it up and Prime dies, the end. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Prime dies, Hot Rod becomes Rodimus Prime, and Megatron becomes Galvatron. So let's do that. Ready? I'm going to be Galvatron now. I'm going to copy his lines to the letter. Are you ready? Here we go. First Prime, then Ultra Magnus, and now you... It's a pity you Autobots die so easily, or I might have a sense of satisfaction now. I totally butchered that. I forgot the first part that leads to that. Curses! Let's try that again. I'll rip out your optics. A few seconds roll by. Something happens with Springer and Cup and RC, and then it comes back and... Galvatron's choking the life out of a robot. No one has ever explained to me how the you are choked the hell out of a robot. But, let's continue. First Prime, then Ultra Madness, and now you. It's a pity you Autobots die so easily, or I might have a sense of satisfaction now. And then, he takes a hit to the face. <sighs> by Hot Rod, who rolls over and opens up the matrix and says, Now, light our darkest hour. And then, there's this fantastically fracked up ass light show that happens, and all the Transformers started coming together. All the Decepticons are running for their lives inside of Unicron. Unicron pulls off his own leg, his right eye blasts out, the Transformers bust out of his left eye, and all kinds of other things happen as Prime, excuse me, as Hot Rod turns into Robin's Prime and says, Autobots! Transform and roll out. 
And then Spike and Daniel will talk about something. Hey, look, it's Hot Rod! And then Cup goes, I knew you had potential, lad. And then they get to Cybertron. Until all or one is said, the end. I hope you guys enjoyed that flashback of my life as a young person. So at 47, I think I'm still pretty good at some of the things that I do. I hope you enjoyed me making fun of some movies. And I will continue to do crazy stuff like this. Like and subscribe. <sighs> I have to get out of this suit now. Just so that you guys know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, there we go. Excuse me. Good God, those Rice Krispie Cakes were horrible. It tastes better going down than coming back. And I'm stuck. Oh, because I'm pulling on the wrong zipper. That's probably something you don't hear every day. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's getting really hot in this suit. So I will tell you guys, you know, um, playing this guy is going to be pretty fun when March comes back around. So, getting in and out of this suit is going to be a pain in the ass. But, um, I like this suit. I will say it has its defects. So I'm going to have to talk to my boy to see if, um, ah, oh, crap, I can't get out of the suit. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this is not supposed to happen. Damn. Yeah. Okay, that's one. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> uh oh, that's not good. Whew, that's good. Always stay professional, children. Even when things are looking pretty good. And getting in and out of these suits are tough, as you just saw. So I'm going to have to talk to my boy who helped me get the suit and see if there's a way we can find someone who actually can trim these things because they're exceptionally long. And if you see my nunchuck video, you'll see how easy it is for these spindle things to... Um, to um, snag you and um, get them all kinds of um, caught up and stuff. But otherwise, the suit's awesome. I would never change the suit unless there was a way to make these like smaller, like cut these in half, because they're actually longer in this um, suit than they are in the comic. The comic, they're not even that long. They're like barely noticeable. However, if they were going for the Giver look, they were successful. Uh, I suppose you guys haven't seen The Giver. I would love to be in like, the third movie of that. If they ever remake it. I'm free and available. Because I'm almost finished with college. <laughs> yeah, but I'd much rather make movies than do police science and criminal justice. Unless I can like become a self-defense teacher. Or something where I can utilize my martial arts skills versus the things that I have acquired in um, school. And also, getting your zipper stuck in costume sucks ass. Probably shouldn't have zipped that all the way up. I try to keep it closed for the most part. But, um, I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed my improvisations. And so we're going to do one more video after I, um, get some clothes back on. So, come for number two, BCMU. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do two more videos of a new character.